So the robot uprising has started. Good news is though, I think we can just wait out the clock in this one. It will just take care of itself. Especially if they're all just as well designed as Oscar here is with missing limbs. Thing will be just fine. Welcome back to Valadilan and to Siberia. Last time we met Oscar and talked a little bit to him. And were quite rude in fact. Or at least I think so. We also started dreading every single phone call we're getting because if it's not people just wanting to blab on about themselves and what they've been doing, it's trying to get us to meet impossible expectations because they just assumed stuff about us. Like we would be home from France, like, like clockwork, and just be ready to go out on the town, and that nothing would go wrong on this trip of ours. So, we're back here, and I think we have exhausted everything we could with Oscar, and there's nothing more back here, so we will just leave. And then it will later turn out that there was something back there I need to pick up. I've forgotten that and hate myself. Actually, that was a bit of a joke, but I psyched myself, so I think we'll actually go back and, and then check. I could, I could just so easily see myself being in that situation, you know? Just... M multiple episodes in, I've completely forgotten about this back area, and then... I'll just be, like, sitting there, staring at the screen, going... What the fuck am I supposed to do? And it'll be just be ba back here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we're actually completely done with the factory for now, so we will just go ahead and get out and see the rest of this area. Because as you will remember, there was like four other paths we still haven't taken. Back at the fountain here. That's weird. <laughs> I think my CPU skipped a bit there. Alright, I don't... Okay, I don't actually remember this area at all. Interesting. Ooh, touch it. I think I remember the results of this action. I just don't remember this place. Well, it's pretty unassuming, so I guess that's why. Actually, I think we'll try this first before we go up there, because I think progress is that way. Nope, I was wrong. Ah, oh well, we're here. Might as well. Continue. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Why, though? And that's an honest question. She has never at any point have we been pointed in the direction of this house. Nor had there been hinted at something important being in, in the house. Has there? Have I already forgotten? Because I don't think there has been. I need a key. That's another thing you will hear quite a bit playing through this game the first time around because there are quite a lot of things that needs to be charged or unlocked uh, wound up even or unlocked and stuff like that well it is a point and click after all so it's it's to be expected 
And I suppose if we must, we'll take the servant's entrance. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Yeah, I honestly don't remember anything before or prior to this. Us coming to this place, there being anything hinting at us having to enter the mansion. Because uh, Alpha Tia just talks about there being an heir and and stuff like that. He doesn't say, oh, by the way, she left some shit in her house. Go check it out. Good morning. You've got a magnificent garden here. Oh, please don't talk about it. Since my gardener automaton broke down, there are weeds everywhere. You can't imagine how much work it takes me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. We're not used to doing without our robot help here in Veladilan. But everybody says that we're going to have to get used to it. Valadilan. <laughs> oh, the robot butler broke down. Now I, the gardener, have to do everything. <laughs> right, so I don't think we'll get much out of here. I'll talk Good to you Good morning. Again. You've... Just see if there was... Like a dialogue tree or something. I'll pull... Yeah, okay, there's nothing more. But could you imagine living in, like, in the future, if we ever get the robots up to uh, a sufficient level, where they could actually be, like, butlers and gardeners and stuff? Oh, shit, I actually forgot how... It's kind of unsettling, this is. Like, it's cracked, like, it's missing half its head and it's overgrown. It's quite eerie, actually. But yeah, we get the robots up so where they can be gardeners and butlers to the point where even like maids are like kind of kind of have a stature. Could be kind of cool. I'm actually like not completely opposed to it. No point. It's locked. There we are, that's the key. And yes, that is the key for the... ladder, mobile ladder. And I don't know if it's because I have a bigger screen now, and it's not as stretched out. Actually, let's go back there a bit. Hey, it's Future Mist here. I'm just gonna jump in and dub over some waffly bullshit where I just can't get to a point. What I talk about here is how I feel the perspective is a little bit off, how the hedges and the gate are a little bit too big compared to Kate, even taking into consideration that she is moving away from the camera at some point. And it really just reminded me how games are all smoke and mirrors, how everything is just Barbie dolls projected on top of a, a JPEG basically. And that you really see this clearly when you're emulating, like an old PlayStation 1 game like Resident Evil or something like that. The emulator can add a, a bunch of filters to the 3D and make it look really crisp and clear, but the backgrounds will always just be the same old crappy picture from the 1980s. And that's all I wanted to say, and it took me forever, so there's gotta be some dead air here. Sorry about that. Just in general, I find very fascinating about uh, the visual medium, how we we use all these special tricks to to trick the eye and, and to see things. All right, so now we're ready for some home invasion. Coolio. I mean, it's an adventure game, I guess. 
there was a house, it was locked. That's not allowed. K. Walker says, no. I'm going in that house. Maybe just because she she wasn't allowed in, so now she wants and, and she found a way. Ooh, ink. Score. Ink. All right, brace yourself. It's more reading. Oh boy, that was... Oh, that was a lot of fucking reading. It was so much, I th it, it feels like days has gone fucking by. But there you have it, that is like basically the entire fucking life story of Anna Vorlberg and, and the rest of the Vorlberg family. It's off to a good start, I can't say Vorlberg correctly. So to summarize, I know I've put the uh, rest of all of this reading, it will be the video after this, so we'll just continue on like that didn't actually happen. So I'll recap for you, not because I haven't recorded for like a couple of days or something like, but for you, right? Service to you. I didn't forget anything, okay? Right. So, Anna lived with her father. Well, hello there, it's Future Mist again, I know, long time no see. And once again, I just take for absolutely ever, it's taken like 10 minutes to, to recap this bullshit. So, we're gonna just jump in once again and dub all over it. So, the story is that Anna lives with her brother Hans and her father and presumably the, the, the help of this large mansion. They go outside one day and find a cave that is presumably a prehistoric one based on all the drawings on the wall wherein there is a mammoth doll that Hans wants to get his hands on so he climbs up to grab it, he falls down, he hits his head, uh, ends up in a coma and uh, when he gets out of this coma he is not quite himself, he's very slow and he sits around for hours and then just staring and it's very hard to get a contact with him so they go off to like I think it's Germany to try and get him cured there and that doesn't help and the family's very frustrated until one day Hans goes to the factory with the father of the family and it turns out that he's like a mechanical genius he's a me mechanical savant even maybe maybe that's the word and he makes like a little mammoth doll for Anna and he uh, starts making more and more advanced dolls and upgrades the factory line and all kinds of crap and finally it seems like they have a family until Hans decides that I want to go out into the world and find the mammoths I want to go out and, and find them they say that no one uh, they aren't around but I, I want to find them Anna says well that's sad but of course I support you but dad says Fuck that shit. That's not happening. You're getting locked up in the factory until you change your mind. So only the maid sees him now to bring him food and stuff. But of course being the clever sort he is, he makes little cylinders where he can make messages for, for Anna. And we have already encountered one such cylinder. And in one of them he describes how he's gonna try to escape and, and get out and go search for the madness. And then one day he is no longer in the factory, locked in in the office. He he was locked in uh, by by Daddy O, and that's pretty much where we are now. Anna it takes over the factory, and uh, I guess, I think the story was that they keep in touch, but um, we'll get more into that later. And uh, yeah, that that's that's where we are now. All right, so here is another pusel, I think. No, oh, no, I do. Okay, I misremembered. I just remember something <gasps> dumb about having to change a light bulb, but that's that's not this game. Mamas, you draw mamas for Momo. Ah, Momo, it's you. You scared me.
What are you doing in here? Momo want Mama's picture, like Han's picture. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of a mammoth with me. Take paper and pencil and draw mammoth for Momo. Sorry, <laughs> all other mammoths. You don't give up easily, do you? All right, so this is the first time we've actually been able to talk to Hans at length and or at least we have the option to it and I don't remember I don't think we are actually gonna be able to let's try and see you if remember we can. me don't you I'm Kate see if we can talk Draw to him. mamas for Momo please you must find me a bit rude turning up places uninvited where nobody knows who I am <laughs> see it's kind of my job you know to get involved but don't mind me just carry on with what you're doing Momo not mind. Anna kind. Never angry. That's right. She won't be angry. Not now. Yeah, you know, it's kind of my job to get involved. As a, a high-powered New York lawyer, it's uh, part of my training even. I have a diploma in, in breaking and entering, or as it, I enhanced uh, research uh, searching inquiry majigger as we call it back in New York <laughs> please don't call the cops you're a sweet kid Momo but I can't draw least of all mammoths draw mammoth easy hands draw mammoth Anna draw mammoth Kate too I mean maybe I could do a quick squiggle of a box, say, that has a mammoth inside. No, Momo want a real mammoth. <sighs> My goodness, you are one stubborn boy. Holy shit, that's precious. That's something I would try to get away with. Yeah, how about I just draw a box? Let's pretend there's a mammoth in it. God damn. There's something I'm looking for, but I don't quite know what. I need a clue, anything that might tell me where Hans is. You want to help me, don't you? First, you draw mammoth for Momo. And if I help you, you help me, right? Mm, Momo, no, Kate is kind. Kate draw mammoth for Momo. Then Momo tell Kate secret. You've got a secret? First, draw mammoth for Momo. You know what I just realized? I think Hans wants us to draw a mammoth for him. What do you think? Right, right, right. Your suggestions in in the comments section. What do you think, Mom? Did Mammoth Momo want? Fuck. <laughs> cut, cut, cut that. Out, cut it. Out. Tell me, Momo. I met someone real interesting in the factory, a kind of robot called Oscar. Now he told me about a train. Anna didn't tell you where it was going, did she? Train, train. Oh, oh no. Doo -doo! Oh no! Oh. Momo, Momo, it's okay, it's okay. Fuck out of Momo! Oh my god, we activated him! We flipped the switch or something. Forgot, I forgot about that. Oh my god. Train, choo choo! Oh fucking shit. What's going to happen to you now that Anna is gone? Momo big now. They want Momo live at inn. Momo don't want. Momo take care of Momo. From what I've seen, you look pretty resourceful. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by hands. Difficult work. When Momo big, he do like hands. Momo friend of automatons. Tell me, Momo, did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like Hans. Anna on journey. You lived with Anna Varlberg, didn't you? Maybe you can tell me a secret or two about how automatons are made. Anna not want Momo in factory. Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. 
Right, sounds actually very interesting that Anna didn't want Momo in the factory. Maybe she was worried that Momo would turn out like Hans. That maybe he would get swallowed up by the, the factory just like her brother did. Uh, or it lead to some of the troubles. Uh, that there was something there. Words are hard. Uh, yeah, good. So let's draw that fucking mammoth. Except I don't have a pencil. Wait, oh! Pencil and paper. And. It's a mammoth! Hans 1932. Good, Hans. Um, we're just gonna. Again, in New York, y you know, some people call it plagiarizing. I mean, I'm, I mean, I call it. Uh, Call back. <sighs> oh, that's more shit to. I forgot words in that very moment. That's more shit to cut out. Just cut that shit out. Call back. What the fuck? Alright, so now we have the. Pichola. Oh, wait, no, I keep forgetting. Click this, then this. Does the mammoth again. There we go. And there we go. Easy peasy. Oh, whoa, boy. C continue excitement. Mm, thank you. Momo happy. Now follow Momo. Momo show his secret to Kate. Oh, no, eh. Uh, <laughs> we have a word for that back in New York, too. No, thank you. Alright. Uh, I guess uh, the story won't continue until we follow Momo to his secret. So let's do that. It's the end of that sentence, 30 seconds later. God, I'm out of it today. I mean, it's not like it's a very demanding game, this. Just point your mouse and click, but... It's, it's taking a lot out of me, I gotta say. What's that, Momo? What's that? Where are you going, boy? Where are you going? What's that? <gasps> oh my god, little Timmy fell down a well! Let's go spit at him and laugh! This is the reason I didn't go down here earlier. We are going down here. Well, now. And all these houses here, there's nothing else to look at. You can just go down here and see the lock gate, and that'd be that. Music is really good. Really good. And, and cobble with this, I mean, yeah, 800 by fucking 600 or whatever, but, but it's. Uh, look at how serene this is. It's really, really nice. I would love it if, if they like remade this game. Which is odd. So many companies remake their games and. The third in this series came out with like a uh, collector's edition. I'm looking at the fucking statue right now, and they haven't bothered going back and, and doing like an HD version. Not to my knowledge, anyway. It's a little bit odd, actually, because it, it warrants it. It's a good game.
Yeah, okay, just keep walking, okay? That's... that's fine. But what will Momo's secret be? And will he confess to us anime style because the scene kinda looks like it? Find out next time on Spass McGee's playthrough of this fuck sh shit video so <laughs>